Exodus chapter 27. You are to make the altar of acacia wood, seven and a half feet long and seven and a half feet wide. The altar is to be square and four and a half feet high. Make horns for it on its four corners. The horns are to be of one piece with it, and you are to overlay it with bronze. Make its pots for removing ashes, and its shovels, basins, meat hooks, and fire pans. All its utensils you are to make of bronze. Make for it a gate of bronze netting, and on the four corners of the netting make four bronze rings. Put it under the rim of the altar so that the netting reaches halfway up the altar. Make poles of acacia wood for the altar and overlay them with bronze. Its poles are to be put into the rings. The poles are to be on both sides of the altar for carrying it. The altar is to be made of planks and hollow inside. They are to make it just as you are shown on the mountain. Here is how you are to make the courtyard of the tabernacle. On the south side facing southward are to be tapestries for the courtyard made of finely woven linen, 150 feet for one side, supported on 20 posts and 20 bronze sockets. The hooks on the posts and the attached rings for hanging are to be of silver. Likewise, along the north side are to be tapestries 150 feet long, hung on 20 posts and 20 bronze sockets, with silver hooks and rings for the posts. Across the width of the courtyard on the west side are to be tapestries 75 feet long, hung on 10 posts and 10 sockets. The width of the courtyard on the east side facing east will be 75 feet. Tapestries for one side of the gateway will be 22 and a half feet long, hung on three posts and three sockets. For the other side, there will be tapestries 22 and a half feet long on three posts and three sockets. For the gateway of the courtyard, there is to be a screen 30 feet long made of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and finely woven linen. It should be in colors, the work of a weaver. It is to be on four posts and four sockets. All the posts all the way around the courtyard are to be banded with silver and to stand in sockets of bronze. The length of the courtyard is to be 150 feet and the width 75 feet everywhere, with the height seven and a half feet. The tapestries and screen are to be of finely woven linen and the sockets are to be of bronze. All the equipment needed for every kind of service in the tabernacle, as well as the tent pegs for the tabernacle and for the courtyard are to be of bronze. You are to order the people of Israel to bring you pure oil of pounded olives for the light, and to keep a lamp burning continually. Aharon and his sons are to put it in the tent of meeting outside the curtain in front of the testimony, and keep it burning from evening until morning before Adonai. This is to be a permanent regulation through all the generations of the people of Israel. End of Exodus chapter 27